specific request here at uh, uh, Behavior Beast uh, to talk about socially mediated reinforcement. And uh, I apologize if I'm damaging your name here, Ignio, uh, but uh, Ignio Roms, um, again, I don't know if I said it right, I'm bad with names, but he requested that we do a little bit of a, uh, a skit on, uh, or not of a skit, but kind of a definitional video on socially mediated reinforcement. So the best that I can tell you is that, I mean, you still have reinforcement, right? So, we, so we're gonna focus on reinforcers. Uh, we're gonna break this down into both types of reinforcement, both positive and negative reinforcement. And one of the things that we need to remember is the social piece. And now, keep in mind that we are not talking about social reinforcers here. So, hey, uh, Brad, I would love it if you could come sit in the video um, and, and enjoy this. All right. You know, this show, oh, <laughs> here it comes. So we got Brad, this is a rare occurrence of Brad on camera. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Um, so what I just did, I, I reinforced Brad's behavior, right, for coming over here and attending to the stimulus, or attending uh, to my requests and following through with his tasks. And well done, good job. Thank you. Um, so, but he's, that was not socially mediated, mediated reinforcement. Even if I'm giving him attention, saying, good job, Brad, I really appreciate you being here. I know it's wet and cold, my suit's sticking and all, don't ask why my suit's sticking. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so if I, it's, I didn't do social mediated reinforcement, I may be giving him some social reinforcements. Are you requesting to leave? Yeah, can I go? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I gotta Feel check free. on the. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. All right, thank you. That, ladies and gentlemen, was an example of socially mediated negative reinforcement. Why socially mediated? Brad requested from a social source, right? So another human. So he requested a reinforcer. The reinforcer that he requested was escape. So negative reinforcement. He gets a little nervous on camera, so he needed to get out of it in the situation, right? So that was the socially mediated negative reinforcement. The key, folks, is on the mediation. Social reinforcement is all well and good. That's the interaction and the reinforcement delivered by um, social interaction, right? But social mediated is where a person is mediating the reinforcer. Uh, we also want to think about um, that there's a... <laughs> If you really get down into it, there's a piece of the, the mediator's behavior as part of the function, and it gets kind of messy, but we want to focus on the fact that they're requesting. Brad could have just as easily asked me for an M&M, okay? So instead of escaping, maybe Brad was more interested in eating M&Ms, um, which is just something important. As you become a better behavior analyst, you'll learn that you should always carry M&Ms in your pocket because, you know, it's just awesome to have people get out of your hand. Um, so, I don't know, I, I walk around with them always uh, for random reasons. Um, ones that I probably won't say on camera, but um, no, I just got done with a health exam. Maybe I shouldn't be fucking around with M&Ms all the time. Anyway, folks, socially mediated reinforcement. Uh, we're not going to go into this, uh, the socially mediated punishers and all that fun stuff, but that just gets weird and naughty. Uh, but uh, right now, I think that's a good enough. Remember, social interaction between people and behavior. Uh, and then the, the mediation part is requesting something. Oh, oh no. Can I have another one? Of course you can. See? And socially mediated positive reinforcers. Uh, so there you go. So uh, the prompts. Uh, so in this case, Brad did approach. And what was I reinforcing, right? I wasn't necessarily reinforcing him coming over here. I was reinforcing him manding me, all right, for, a, for an M&M. &M. So, or, oh, yeah, I'm not going to eat that one. Oh, what the hell? It's not going to kill me. All right. Um, so anyway, I was reinforcing him for manding me, for requesting. That was gross. So um, I just spit out half of my M&M &M because I was talking too loud. Anyway, we're reinforcing him for manding me for an M&M. So it was a type of social reinforcement as well. Even in this particular case, it was a verbal one. Um, so it applies all, all across the show. It's a really, really useful technique to teach people. To say that to a it's okay to ask to be reinforced. My kiddos do it all the time. Can I earn a marble? Can I get a marble for that? What can I do to get a marble? All right, you get the idea. Socially mediated. They know they need something. Or they want to earn those reinforcers for whatever reason. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. <coughs> Excuse me as I choke on an M&M. Um, I don't know if that's socially mediated or not, but I suppose somebody will analyze my behavior and tell me down here in the comments. It's more respondent. It is a bit respondent. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, folks, thank you very much. Socially mediated reinforcers. We'll come back for more later. Take care.